in a bit. Okay, uh, so we got the oil all drained. Next up is the uh, oil filter. So um, I actually had to run to the store for this one because uh, this uh, this wrench that I usually use ended up being too small. It uh, won't quite fit on the filter. So um, I usually like using this one because it can bend and you can get into some harder to reach spaces. But since I already saw where this one is and saw how it's pretty easily accessible. I can uh, just use something like this. And uh, I think a gorilla put this one on because it was uh, it was pretty goddamn hard to get loose. So, But that's loose now. And so I'm just going to unscrew this. When this comes off, there's going to be a little bit of oil that, that drips out. Oh, kind of dropped it there. But, uh, so that one's out of there. Uh, I'm just going to go set this guy over on my bench and uh, grab the new one. And, uh, stick this on here. And honestly, I I only like to put these on here as, uh, as tight as I can get them by hand. I don't use a wrench and torque them down. Um, these, these fram filters are kind of nice too because it's got a nice grippy surface so you can uh, screw that in and that's pretty tight so now we got our oil filter in got the oil drained out now it's uh, it's uh, time to start putting the new stuff in um, so uh, yeah let me let me get my stuff together and I'll be right okay back. so Got everything set up, and now I'm dumping the oil in. Uh, I've already gone ahead, gone ahead and done a couple of the quarts, but uh, um, I'll just grab one now so you can see it. So I like to use uh, one of these uh, funnels that has the notch in here, and I'll kind of show you why. So I just, sorry about the camera work here. I need two hands. <laughs> so I can just open one up, and then, uh, uh, just dump this whole thing in and move in and no leaking anywhere so I've already uh, 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 I like to I'll go ahead and just dump four of these in here right away and then after that um, I'll start checking the, the oil level because um, since we just put a new oil filter in here um, that is uh, uh, not going to have any oil in it so I'm going to need to run the engine a little bit and that way the oil filter will fill up and then I'll get a more accurate idea of uh, how much oil this is going to take and since uh, since I just got this car too or truck or whatever <laughs> I usually like to put uh, uh, some of the sea foam in here this is uh, I put half of it in with the oil and I put the other half into the gasoline and uh, the stuff that goes into the oil that'll that'll help clean up the inside of the engine and stuff and the uh, the stuff I put into the gas tank it'll help uh, 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 clean out the injectors and stuff so it's it's pretty good stuff and I've, I I know it works because I used it on the MG and the uh, um, I've got a uh, it's a clear fuel f filter so I can see the gas that's that's coming through there and um, when I uh, I went through about a tank of gas or two and then uh, I put some sea foam in there, and the uh, the filter is just usually it's pretty clear, but it just turned yellow, so I could tell it it freed a bunch of crap up. So um, I don't think it's a a total uh, uh, snake oil type thing. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna gonna finish off uh, with uh, uh, topping off this oil and stuff. But that's uh, that's an oil change, and so these are two changing an air filter and changing your own oil these are uh, two things that you can do very easily and uh, save yourself some money um, in the long run um, so uh, and uh, what's nice about this Jeep is uh, I didn't even have to jack it up it's so up high I'm, I usually only drive cars so uh, uh, I didn't even have to jack this thing up to do this so that was kinda cool um, but yeah uh, I'm sure there's, a, there's you know, I've got body work and, and more stuff to do to the Jeep, but uh, I think that's it for today. So uh, 
Uh, thanks for watching. Check me out at uh, www.martoon.net. And the show is available uh, on iTunes in the Zoom Marketplace. And uh, any feedback, just go ahead and send it to martysgarage at gmail.com. So uh, thanks for watching.